Hi guys, I'm Nathan. And I'm Haley. And today we are at Swedish, which is a Swedish candy and goods store. It's here on yeah. Queen Street yeah. in Lancaster. Yeah. And it's really cool because they have a pick and mix inside. Yeah, and it's uh, authentic Swedish candy, like gummies and things like that. So yeah. we thought we'd come by and pick our own stuff and see what we get and if we like it. So yeah. we'll, we'll let you know if we like it. <laughs> yeah, so let's head on inside, grab some stuff, get it, and uh, take it home and try it. All right. So we're back home. We're back home now. Yes, we are. Um, and we're going to try some of these that we uh, picked up at the Swedish shop. Yeah, we kind of, you know, decided to obviously choose our own sweets. So because of that, we're not really doing a rating system or anything like that. Yeah, we're we'll just, tell you what we like the most. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we picked a bunch of different things. Yeah. The guy there that was running the shop was really super nice, helpful. We asked him, like, what are some good ones to try? He pointed out some stuff. We picked those, we also picked some that we were interested in. Yeah, and from what we understand, gummies are a very traditional uh, Swedish snack or candy. Mm -hmm. um, so if we're wrong about that, or if he was wrong about that, uh, let us know in the comments. But um, hopefully we'll try some things that you are familiar with if you're from Sweden, Sweden and you know, or any country that might have these uh, products. Um, and let us know what you think of them too. So let's dive in. All right. Which one do you want to start with first? Um, well, we made a handy dandy list because we don't know what any of this is. So No wrappers, so no names on them. Yeah, let's just start at the top of what I have so it doesn't get confusing. Um, the first one is this. It's a vanilla marshmallow. Seems like really cool looking and it looks like a marshmallow, but it looks more like... I don't know. Square? Well, yeah, but like almost like homemade. Like if you get a homemade, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's different than ours. So I wanted to almost compare it to something that we know. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> the cat's jingling her little toy. Yeah. She is adorable right now. <laughs> yeah. She could see her. All, All right. right. So cheers. Cheers. I just dove right in with it. <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't going to bite that in half. Mm -mm. It's a harder than I'm used to. And it reminds me of a squashy. Mmm. 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 Wow. It is vanilla flavored, I believe you mm -hmm. said? Yeah, I like that because wow. our marshmallows that we just get that are plain regular marshmallows, they I don't think have vanilla flavor. I don't know, they're just like sugary. Yeah. Um, so this is nice, you get, you get a little bit of flavor underneath everything. That was really good. I and I that. would I would eat a bag of those and I don't I don't like marshmallows so much from here unless you're like cooking them over the fire. And even then I'll only do a few of them. Yeah, they're great on s'mores. Yeah. Which yeah. we did s'mores with UK chocolate. Check that, that up there. Check that video out. It's a good one. Yeah. But those are great. I those are the top so far. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what's next? Alright, next is the Rambo Cola, which is the flavors of Coke and Lemon. It is brown with the yellow center. Yeah. So it's got like a nice like sugariness on the outside. I picked this one out. Yeah. Yeah. And just so you know, they had the Swedish names for these on them, but oh my gosh, uh, too many, too many consonants and not enough vowels. And yeah, we're just, not sure how to pronounce them, and instead of yeah. butchering it, we're going to tell you the, I guess, the translations. And hopefully, you recognize them, and you'll yeah. you can figure it out. I butcher enough stuff in English, so yeah, it was also a lot to write down, so we would have gotten confusing. <laughs> All right, on that note, let's try this. Hmm, <laughs> that was interesting. It has an in a neat snap to it, like mm -hmm. a, I don't know, it's still a gummy, but it's like hard. I like that cola taste. Mm. And the lemon is very strong. But it's a really good combination. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Huh. I mean, this is honestly, to me, better than actually drinking a Coke. Yeah, I could say that. But it, it's enjoyable. It's really nice. But it really tastes like a Coke, which is amazing. Because, like, mm -hmm. yeah. Coke flavor, or cola flavor, I should say, it's one of the hardest things to reproduce replicate, yeah. or replicate, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah, they don't always nail it on certain, you know, candies and snacks. Yeah. Um, that was great. Very good. Marshmallow, Rambo. I like that one. That so one? Far. 
I think I'm sticking with the marshmallow so far. So next we have the lemon rhubarb log. And that is the red one. So okay. I guess logs are a big thing. Yeah, there were a Sweden. whole bunch of those to choose from. We only got like three or four varieties. Yeah, there were like eight bins or so of different types yeah. of logs. Yeah, all right. Probably even more. I wonder if we can bite it. It's pretty hard. Oh yeah. All right. Lemon rhubarb. Rhubarb's always such a subtle flavor. Yeah, I got the lemon. I just put the rest in. Yeah, it's good. It's very refreshing. It is. It's not like really striking me as something that's like amazing though. But it's enjoyable. It tastes I like suppose. it tastes <laughs> like summertime to me. It does. It's like sitting down with a rhubarb pie mm -hmm. and a glass of lemonade. Yeah. I think that's the best way to put it. It was really sweet. I almost wonder if it was like sweeter in a certain way than the others we've tried so far. Yeah. Not as much my favorite. Definitely not. I'm okay. still going with the vanilla marshmallow. And this stuff's probably going to get sweeter and we forgot to get something to drink. Yeah. Let's go run and get that. Water. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So we didn't brew tea for this one. No, um, I didn't think about that. No. And since it's not British, stuff. I don't know. I just didn't feel right to do tea. Sure. There you go. It's not the the real second breakfast and afternoon tea. <laughs> but it is still part of the series. Yes. So the next one is the sweet and salty licorice. And I'm not usually a fan of licorice, so I'm really curious about this. But what the gentleman told us in the store is that licorice is a very yeah. popular flavor in Sweden. Yeah. I like licorice. Like I always like the black licorice jelly beans mm -hmm. and uh, Easter candy. So. I'm looking forward to it. I'm the one that kind of was like, let's get some licorice ones. Yeah, and I like trying things, so I'll try anything, even if I don't really normally like it. So Because yeah, who knows, if something could be better than what you expect. Yeah, and I like that this is sweet and salty, so I'm really curious how that's gonna Yeah, because it's not a really play. power mm. licorice smell. Like Yeah, but it smells really good. That licorice is nice and good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go into it. Oh, it's soft. Mm-hmm. Woo! That, yeah. is, that is salty. That is different. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm gonna put that back down. I'm. Woo! Wow, that is that is strong. Okay, <laughs> this is the first time we have ever had that reaction. Yes. So, put that in the books or whatever yeah. because that was like, that was surprising, and we don't normally have bad reactions. No, and it wasn't terrible. It's not what I was expecting. Because it was yeah. super salty. It's just like, mm -hmm. you know, just eating straight salt. Yeah. But then that licorice flavor is such a strong flavor, it really makes the licorice stand out. Yeah. Because salt makes flavors stand out. So it's right. just really... Yeah, and there wasn't a lot of sweet, even though it was like sweet and salty. Wow, that was so different. If it you was, like these, let us know. Yeah. Um, that is really, really interesting. And the second bite was a little better. I think now that I knew what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to try. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, still not my favorite. Which is like <laughs> she said, the first time we've tried something that we both can say it's not our favorite. Yeah. So, uh, so sorry, Sweden. <laughs> yeah. How about we do another licorice? Okay. <laughs> so this one's the purple raspberry chalk. Now, they had a couple different chalk varieties. So I was like... I have no idea what to expect with this, so brace yourself again. Yeah, so it's raspberry around the, around the, the licorice. salty licorice. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's a lot better. Mm hmm. It's a little more like the licorice than I'm used to. Yeah. Because the raspberry, the sweetness of the raspberry, cuts the saltiness of the licorice that's supposed to be there. It's still a little funny though. <laughs> yeah. But that might just be because I don't normally like licorice. Do you like it? I like it better than the last one, yeah. <laughs> like I said, I like licorice things. This stuff isn't really my favorite. Yeah. I do like the raspberry flavoring on the outside. Yeah. We that was good. That. that was good. It was, it's a neat experience to yeah. try something like that because oh, yeah. we've never come across these types of sweets before. Right. Yeah, we like doing doing this. This is why we do this, to find things that we do and don't like and just experience other cultures. Mm -hmm. So I think the next one on the list is the last of the licorice. All right, yeah, licorice fish. We got this because we have Swedish fish here, which like is a little red candy, whatever flavor, cherry flavor, yeah. I don't know. Um, but they look exactly the same. 
So we thought... It's just the American version. I'm yeah, sure. it's the American version, but I'm sure it's also the American ingredients too, which is going to be totally different. And they're not licorice. Yeah. These are licorice. Because I can just tell you already that these are so much softer and yeah. bendier than the Swedish fish that we get. Yeah, totally. Because like the ones we get, you bend them, they like crack kind of like they mm -hmm. get like uh, stress fractures yeah and they almost they're almost more dry yeah um like the outside has a dried coating this is very like gummy the whole way and it's sticky too like it retains its moisture yeah keith is just climbing over the furniture right now that's all right yeah all right let's go uh, okay sorry <laughs> it's strong <laughs> it's, <gasps> it's that salty yeah. licorice again it's very salty why the salt and the licorice, Sweden? Why? Like, I'm, <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. I mean, maybe it's, it's just not, not something we're used to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it really that big and popular? Like, if you're from Sweden, let us know in the comments below. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it could even be something that um, has a history for you. So I'm really curious. Uh, why it is mm -hmm. a, such a popular thing. So please let us know. And I, I can't say that this is like bad. It's not something I particularly like, but it doesn't mean that it's wrong or that it's made wrong or that, you know, there, it shouldn't exist. So I, I feel like there are people out there that like this and for good reason. Yeah. All right, let's change it up. <laughs> All right, we're done with the licorice. Let's do the forest berries, which are these little things. There's like a red one and a blue one and they're just berry flavor. So. Oh, that's really sweet. Mm -hmm. mm, it's refreshing after that last thing. <laughs> mm, I like it. It's a good berry flavor. Mm -hmm. They're really neat. Can you tell if the red one tasted different? Um, I'm not sure if I could. I don't know if it does or not. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, are they supposed to? Um, once again, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. I feel like I could tell a slight difference. Like one was red raspberry and one was like black raspberry. I don't know. But <laughs> I could just be making it up. Because those taste different. <laughs> well, they can. <laughs> My taste buds could just be all out of whack after the licorice. We I don't know. know. Yeah, or, or your taste buds are like opened up now and you can taste those differences. So. Yeah. Yeah. Those were good though. I like them. Um, I think I might still stick with the vanilla marshmallow as my top, but that might be my second so far. Okay. Um, I'm still sticking with the cola, cola. lemon rainbow. Yeah. Why are they called rainbows? It's Inform probably us brand. people, please. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> because there's another couple things on the list That's that were true. labeled rainbow. The caramel twist. We're going to do that now. These look really cool. Yeah. I'm very excited about this. And she will talk about the name of this during this video. Oh yeah. Year. I may have said caramel. I'm not sure. I'm sorry if I did. Caramel, caramel, however you want to pronounce it. Um, but <laughs> we're going to go with this right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I always screw it up. Yeah. All right. Here we go. This is really cool. Mmm. I like that. Mm hmm. Ooh. I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had mm. caramel. Caramel. We'll say that. Mm -hmm. I've never had it in a gummy before. I mean, I've had like mm -hmm. caramel chews mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But not like flavored in a gummy. Yeah. Mm. That is really good. Mm hmm. Hmm. Is that better than the I know. cola for me? I know. I'm kind of torn now too. I don't know. It's like I have to taste the marshmallow again. But I can't because we don't have any. Yeah. We bought enough for us to try one of each mm -hmm. because we didn't know how much it was going to cost us. Because it's by weight. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. That's tied for the top. Yeah, I might have to think that over more too. Banana Bubs Minis. So this is banana and caramel flavor. I picked these out because they just looked cool. Yeah, they I do. Know, when there's writing printed on I know. stuff, it makes it more fun. And it looks totally different than anything else. Exactly. Let's go right down the middle. We're going to try to get the banana and the caramel. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's nice. Mm-hmm. 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 I might like this the most actually. I normally don't like banana flavored candies. Like I know there are people out there that like the banana runts. Mm. Not me. I will eat all the others except the banana ones. That's I, funny. I don't like artificial banana flavoring. That's mm -hmm. what they use. Mm -hmm. um, but this is really good. This is like That's eating really good. a banana dipped in caramel. <laughs> yeah. So I like that one, the bubs. Um, that was my top so far now, I think. 
This is the Rambo Crunchy Strawberry. So it's got like little crunchy bits in the middle of its like log. <laughs> yeah. So this should be cool. Here we go. Alright. Oh, crunchy. Very crunchy. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't sure what the crunchy bits were going to be like. Mm -hmm. If they were going to be like pop Ooh. rocks where they pop in your mouth. I think it was like a sour flavor for a second. I don't think it's sour. It's just like it was so sweet that it opened everything up. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. It's a neat I experience. I don't think the logs, um, all of these are flavors, I don't prefer them. Um, I would rather maybe something that's like the marshmallow or the bubs, uh, you know, whatever, all that. But th that was neat. Th this one this one was pretty good. I still think as far as the logs go, the cola one was my favorite. Yeah, the same, for you. same here, definitely. <laughs> all right, so last one now. And this is the little mushroom. It's a foam mushroom and it's strawberry flavor. And the reason I wanted this is because it looks exactly like the squashies with the milk and raspberry or even the bubblegum one. It looks like that. Yeah. Um, so I'm curious if it's anything like that. If it is, I know where I'm going next time we're in the city. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'd be getting a lot more of these. Oh, it is pretty much like that. Mm. Softer though. A little bit, yeah. More, you know, it's a foam mushroom. It's definitely more like a softer, foamy feel. But very reminiscent mm. of the squashy. Yeah, I like that. Okay, well, it's a good thing you grabbed a couple extra and they're in the bag. We did, I think, because they look like squashies. Yeah, yeah, you're like, I want to take a chance on this. Yeah, um, that's my favorite. That was my favorite. Then I liked the... Um, the bubs? The banana bubs <laughs> minis, yeah. Okay. Those are my top two, and then the marshmallow in the third, I think. Yeah, for me, cola the caramel twist, and then the um, the bubs. Okay. Yeah, so that's our top three for each of us. Yeah. Uh, we definitely will be going back, mm -hmm. and I think we're gonna try some other stuff. Yeah, and you can see that the three things I like are all that same type of thing. It's that squishy, foamy type mm -hmm. chew thing. You yeah. know, I, I really love that. I love that you guys do that. We need more of that here. Yeah, I agree. And I'm really glad that um, somewhere local to us, which is like a 20 minute drive into Lancaster City, and that they have European candy. Um, there used to be a British store there, but sadly it closed a few years ago. We were really hoping yeah. um, to go there, but yeah. we found this place and we are glad that we did. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> we will be making more trips out there because nothing's like having a candy that is naturally flavored and no preservatives, no preservatives. So. everything feels healthy, as healthy as candy can be. Sort of, there's still sugar in it. Yes, <laughs> but so. with that being said, until next time. So long. Farewell. Namadie. And we got a big truck going by. Yep. The process of making these videos is way more complicated than you realize. Very complicated. Do you like it? <laughs>